welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am showing you how to get just a quick holiday costume idea, like a look. And what I did for my Halloween this year was Tanya Harding from the movie I, Tanya, or just Tanya Harding from like skating in the 90s in general. But since the movie I, Tanya came out this year, I always thought, oh my God, that would be such a cute costume, just like a little skater outfit with like, I don't know, like a crowbar or a baton or something, and like fun makeup and like crimped hair. So um, yeah, this is like a really easy, quick, fun costume idea that you can do and it's really cute. Uh, so I was just gonna show you how to do that. So the first thing that I'm going to do is start with my hair. So I have my curling iron just heating up right here, but my hair is looking a little crazy, so I'm going to spray it with a little bit of dry shampoo. And I use the IGK Jet Lag Invisible Dry Shampoo. I love this stuff. Not only does it smell good, but it actually works really well. So, And it gives your hair volume, which is like important, especially if you're me, like me and you have very fine hair. <laughs> So I actually get highlights in my hair and you can tell that I haven't really done that for a while and I kind of on purpose was like, eh, I don't need to do it before Halloween, like Tanya Harding's pretty trashy, <laughs> so I just leave it. <laughs> Anyways, just kind of lift up and spray. Okay, and then I kind of leave that for like, I don't know, a couple seconds and then I sort of just brush through my hair a little bit just to kind of get it like evenly spread all right so now I'm gonna start curling my hair and I like to take about like three finger wide sections and I do the pieces that are uh, like around my face away from I, I curl them away from my face and then the other pieces I curl in the opposite direction that way you don't get like little girl curls I would have crimped my hair for this but I don't have a crimper and I just figured um, you can just do curls and like just kind of tease them a little bit and I just kind of like do them randomly all over my head like since you're putting your hair in a ponytail it doesn't really matter that much it doesn't need to be perfect but since I curled that one away from my face I'm going to curl this one towards my face okay then I'm just gonna keep going all over my head Okay, so now I've put in curls all over my head. Um, obviously, this does not need to be perfect because you're just putting up in a ponytail and it's supposed to be kind of like frizzy and like crimpy anyways. So now that I've given it kind of a second to cool, I'm going to take my fingers and just kind of lightly, like gently sort of run through them so that they're not so like little kid, like bouncy curls. And then I'm going to take my hair and just put, quickly put it up in a ponytail. And I actually like to take like more of a smoothing breath. And since this is a skating costume and we're talking about the 90s here, I'm definitely using a scrunchie. So this is just like a velvet scrunchie, like any velvet scrunchie can work or just any scrunchie really. So now I'm just like making it really high and Kind of crazy looks good <laughs> and then of course um, in any sort of like sport because I actually used to be a dancer for uh, I want to say like 15 like 18 years I was a dancer and so I think like dancing and skating kind of like hair and makeup is sort of similar but basically you like there's always a lot of hairspray so you just like douse yourself in hairspray really slick it up because what happens is when you're in competition you don't want like wispies to come out when you're like flipping around through the air so yeah all right so now for makeup I'm going to, I've already prepped my face, like washed it and um, did like my serums and my moisturizers, but I'm actually kind of feeling, feeling a little bit dry. I don't know if it's just because like the change of seasons and it's cold outside, but I'm going to use the Glossier Priming Moisturizer Rich just to make the makeup go on a little bit easier. So it's just like a little pot. Dot. Okay, 
All right, so again, makeup for like skating or dance or anything is always going to be very costumey just because you are so like far away on stage or I guess on the ice and the lights are very bright. So like to actually see the features of your face, you really need to enhance them. Um, obviously this is just a costume, so you don't have to do that, but I think it's kind of fun. Um, I'm actually not a huge foundation person, so I'm actually going to use more of like a light foundation, but that's just me, I guess. Do whatever foundation works for you. Um, but I'm going to use the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint in medium. Just rub it in. And then for a concealer, I also take the Glossier Concealer in medium and I take a little stippling brush just to kind of go over those like red areas and really get everything kind of covered. Cool. And then from there, I'm going to do kind of like a fun little more dramatic eye. So I'm actually using the Dior Backstage Eye Palette. This is the more cool toned one. They actually just came out with this kind of fairly recently. So I'm going to start with this shade in the top uh, left hand corner here. This is actually like a, an eye primer, like a base. So I'm just going to do it with my finger. And I'm going to go in with this middle shade here, just like a purpley. And then I really love using this sort of darker shade on the side here. It's called purple. <laughs> but I just sort of do that and then put it on the outside. Um, and I'm going to blend it in after. And then what I actually do to blend it in is I take these um, lighter kind of like pinky shades and I go over the entire eye. It really just kind of nicely blends it in as opposed to wiping away every all of the product that you just packed on. Instead it kind of creates like a clean more like seamless look. And then under the eye I'm just going to use a little uh, tiny brush. Go in with that same dark shade. And then obviously I'm going to do a liquid eyeliner just to have the most sort of dramatic look. I'm going to do this off camera because it's kind of hard to do. Okay, so the eyes are looking pretty dramatic. Um, now I'm going to use a Marc Jacobs mascara and my little, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this, Sir something eyelash curler. I like to do the bottom lashes just because I feel like it gives it more of like a dramatic like eye open kind of look. And then from here, just to kind of warm up my face a little bit, I'm going to use the Lars, NARS Laguna bronzer. This is like my go-to kind of favorite bronzer. And like, again, this is stage makeup, so don't be afraid to really just put a lot on. And it's Halloween, you can kind of do that. I always like to go under my chin just to kind of like frame my face a little bit and down my nose to like slim my nose actually if you put a little tiny bit like under your lip it actually makes your lips look a little more supple hi guys so sorry my other camera died so i actually had to switch cameras so now you're on the other side but i think this lighting actually works out better anyways so um so Next, uh, for a highlighter, I'm going to use the Becca Cosmetics Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Moonstone. It just looks like this. It's very nice. And this Morphe M509 highlighting brush. So just take a little bit of it, tap it off. Yeah. And I always go down my nose. Just get a little nose highlight. So, go for my cupid's bow. Just to really like make the lips look more supple. And something I actually like to do is to take just a little bit on my fingers and use it to highlight my brow bone. I could have done this with an eyeshadow shade as well, but I really kind of like, kind of like this color. And then I also go in the inner corner of my eye. Okay, 
Now for blush, I'm going to use also Becca, the Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is the color Poured. So this is like a very kind of like a dark cream blush. But the reason why I'm using this is because I think that this actually matches one of the scenes of the movie or one of Tanya Harding's famous uh, looks for one of her performances or competitions where she had this like crazy uh, like blush that went really high. Uh, well, I'm sure I'll insert a picture. But I just kind of take this on my fingers. You could also use a booty blender. But I'm just like really trying to make it sort of dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It feels like a lot, but that's what she did. Okay, now to just get a little fun, um, just because this is skating that we're talking about, I'm going to do a little uh, glitter. So I actually used this last year for my Halloween costume too. I was an alien, and I just think that it's always fun to just have glitter in some way on Halloween, <laughs> no matter what you're being. So I actually went to Ricky's, which is like a, kind of like a cosmetic shop, and I picked up the Ben, y, ben Nye Glitter Glue, and then this is the NYX Cosmetics uh, like loose glitter, like really crazy and fun. Take this and like apply it straight to kind of like where I put my highlighter basically. Then I literally just pop some into the cap. And then I just sort of stick my finger in there. And just go over exactly where I put the glitter. Now to get even more glittery, I'm going to use the Stila, um, you know, these like kind of glitter eyeshadow um, things that they have. I'm just going to put this on, on the lid of my eye. Just pat that in. A little in the inner corner as well. Full on <laughs> glitter craziness. And then last but not least, I'm gonna do my lips. I like this tardy slip paint just because it stays on all night and it's a nice uh, color. I use the shade Rose, Rose. <laughs> okay, now I feel like this is definitely stage. This is definitely stage makeup. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the actual costume itself. So, the pieces that you're going to need are obviously a skating dress, some very thick tights. You could do skates, but what I did, obviously, because you're not going to walk around in skates all night, that might kind of be really hard to do. So I just wore a pair of white sneakers. I feel like that kind of gets the point across. And then you're going to need something that you would, I don't know, hit someone with. <laughs> so I just found this like club, I guess, at a, like, a fun Halloween store. So yeah, it just kind of adds to like the fun of the costume. In terms of where you can get a skating dress, because this is actually kind of hard to do because Normally it's hard to find one for under $100, and this is just like a Halloween costume you're going to wear for one night. So I had kind of a hard time finding one online, so I texted one of my friends who actually is a figure skater, and she said some suggestions, which are Poshmark, eBay, Amazon also has cheap ones and to try to, the, to try the brand Chloe Noel because they have cheap practice basics. She said you could also do a thrift store or um, you can just do like a leotard and like a little wrap skirt from discountdance.com which is actually a great site. So those are just some good ideas. So I actually did a lot of searching around. I did find some cheap ones on eBay but I eventually landed on one from Amazon. It was actually only $20. Um, so I can actually uh, leave the link below. It is this one. 
It's just like a typical, typical figure skating costume. It has like a little bit of a skirt. It's like this velvety material and it has some like gemstones and kind of like that little sweetheart neckline. With like a little bit of mesh at the top and then long sleeves. I found that most of the costumes that she wore were long sleeves so I tried to find something that was long sleeve and something that was blue. I wanted to do like a light, kind of like a pretty, like a light blue or like a turquoise blue um, because of like this famous uh, costume and this famous scene. I think that's the one where she did the triple axel. Um, but sadly I couldn't find one that was cheap so I ended up going with this and I think it worked out great. In terms of the tights, um, I literally just had like my mom send me some of my old dance tights. These are from Capizio. I'm pretty sure that these are the same ones that like most uh, dancers and figure skaters use. Just kind of like really thick like skin colored tights work. If you don't have those or if you don't feel like buying those, any sort of like pantyhose will work. Um, but yeah, not only because they, that's what they wore, but also because you might be cold on Halloween. And then that's it. So I'll show you what it looks like all together. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you're being for Halloween, if you're doing anything this year. And if you try this costume, I'd love to see it. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.